I recently traveled to Uvalde to talk to some of its residents about how the city is coping in the years since the deadly shooting. We met a local florist who was at the epicenter of the tragedy, not because she had a child impacted, but because she and her husband also happened to own the funeral home next door to Robb Elementary. The violence that unfolded in Uvalde last year happened before the horrified eyes of employees at Hillcrest Funeral Home. They were among the first to call 911 and the first to realize that life in their close-knit city would never be the same. Nellie Briones, who owns the funeral home with her husband, says the shooting has left deep scars in the community. I don't think anyone has been able to get through it. But as time goes by, it's, it's, people are trying to heal. But I don't think that's something that we will ever forget. At the time of the shooting, Briones and her husband were getting ready to open a new flower shop in town, but they quickly pushed those plans aside when it became clear that the job of funeral home director was of far more importance to the community at that moment. Personally, it's, it's been very, very hard. You know, um, the, that is something that, you know, we will never forget. Um, and just um, the business itself, it's, it's a um, funeral home business is a very, you know, it's not for everybody. We're here to help, and that's the time of need, and that's what we do. Now, a year later, their flower shop is thriving, and much of the community's emotional wounds are starting to heal. But around town are ever present reminders of what was lost last year, and Uvalde's message to the rest of the world remains the same. To keep us in your prayers, and that's all I think the city, the city of Uvalde needs right at the moment. Um, it's been, it has not been a year yet, so it's, it's, still, it's still, um, still very new. It still hurts, you know. It's still, I just hope that everybody can um, just take some time and, and, and still pray for Uvalde. Uvalde's strong.